in the story chronicles of Norse paganism. The character of Loki stands out as a figure of unpredictability and constant transformation. As the son of the giants, Farbodi and Laufe, Loki's origins were steeped in mystery and his presence. Among the Aesir gods of Asgard was as intriguing as his character. Loki was neither a god nor a giant, but something unique, a liminal being who straddled two worlds. This unique position lent him an air of ambiguity. His motives and loyalties often as elusive as his shape, shifting form, a master of manipulation and cunning. Loki's reputation as the trickster was well-earned. He moved fluidly through complex situations, his silver tongue often stirring up discord and strife among the gods, but equally capable of extricating them from dire predicaments. His talent for trickery was matched only by his ability to transform, a trait he used liberally, adopting forms as varied as a fly, a mare, a salmon, and even an old woman as the need arose. Yet, despite his tumultuous character and often disruptive action, Loki was an integral part of the Aesir. His actions, no matter how chaotic, often led to the creation of many of the gods, most prized possessions. It was Loki's machinations that led to the forging of Odin's spear, Gungnir, Thor's hammer and Freyr's ship, among others. These artifacts, while acquired through Loki's dubious means, became integral tools for the gods, serving them in their various endeavors. As his narrative unfolds, Loki's character is revealed to be as deep and complex as the universe he inhabited. He was neither wholly evil nor entirely good, but a unique entity that brought change and unpredictability to the orderly realm of Asgard. Loki's story, then, is a testament to the notion that chaos and order are not always opposing forces, but can often intertwine in the most unexpected ways, shaping the course of events in ways unimaginable. One of the most intriguing aspects of his character was his progeny. As diverse and unconventional as Loki himself, with the giantess Angrobotha, he fathered three monstrous offspring the wolf Fenrir, the serpent Jormungandr, and Hel, the ruler of the realm of the dead. Each of these beings played critical roles in the shaping of the Norse cosmos and the events leading to its end. Loki's relationship with the gods was a complex web of mutual reliance and deep-seated mistrust. He often found himself at odds with the gods due to his disruptive antic. Yet, the gods also recognized that Loki's cunning could prove beneficial in the face of challenges. Thus, Loki was both an insider and an outsider within the divine community of Asgard, a balance that was tenuous at best and explosive at worst. In time, Loki's actions became increasingly destructive. His role in the death of the beloved god, Baldr, marked a turning point. Baldr, the son of Odin and Frigg, was loved by all in Asgard. When he began to have ominous dreams of his death, his mother Frigg made all things in the world vow never to harm him. However, she overlooked the mistletoe, considering it too insignificant. Loki, upon discovering this, fashioned a spear from the mistletoe and tricked Baldur's blind brother, Hodor, into throwing it at Baldur, killing him instantly. The death of Baldur marked the beginning of the end. It set the stage for the final cataclysmic event in Norse history, Ragnarok. Despite the gods' attempts to prevent it, Loki and his monstrous offspring played vital roles in bringing about Ragnarok, the twilight of the gods. Even as a harbinger of the end of the world, Loki's character remains intricately woven into the fabric of Norse paganism, his narrative thread full of mischief, transformation, and ultimately destruction. 
creates a compelling saga that underscores the complex interplay between chaos and order, destruction and creation, fear and fascination. If you enjoyed this short tale, please leave a like and subscribe to Mimi as well. And comment below, letting him know what story you would love to hear next.